Now, a few of you asked me to do a cost video for Lapland, Finland. Now, I have posted one that was a little bit more in-depth, but it's nearly 10 minutes long, so I am going to do a shortened version on this video and try and keep it as short as possible. So this is the lady I booked with. I think she's on TikTok, but I can't remember her username. But this is her Facebook page. If you want to screenshot that now and go and find her on Facebook, she is also on Instagram as well. And although I booked everything through her, we went with a company called Ingham's. So let me just try and break all this down. So we stayed at the 11 Sirius and Orion. I have a full apartment like room tour on my page. It's on the playlist Lapland if you want to go and check that out. Absolutely stunning. So we stayed at the Levy Levin Sirius and Orion. We stayed there for four nights. It says a one bedroom apartment, but if you go and check that video out, you'll see that it's more like a two bedroom apartment. We went on a self catering basis for two adults, two children, flights from Manchester for four nights, and we paid £2,900. So included in that cost, we obviously got our flights. We flew with Jet2. I have posted a short video of the flight it was absolutely amazing the staff dressed up they made so much effort they did christmas cows with the kids and it was absolutely spot on could not complain whatsoever so we got our flights included we got our transfers included so our transfers to and from the airport and we got our luggage included which was 22 kilograms each so when we arrived it is obviously absolutely freezing so i don't know if you can see here but we got our all our um snow suits and boots included so all we needed to pack was base layers and thermals and like hats and gloves but everything like your snow boots that we needed to walk around in and the snow suits were all included on day two we went to the elves village which is in levy and again this excursion was completely included in our package these are all the basics so we booked the basic package we didn't book any extras or anything through the travel agency we booked everything extra there but i'll go into more detail with that in a second but all everything that was basically included was the elves village on day two so they picked you up from your hotel on a coach you went to the elves village you spent about four hours there um you went in to see santa Santa. so before you go they send you a letter through the post to do like your christmas list and stuff for the kids once you've done that you pretend to post it and you actually take it with you to lapland so that when you go in to see the big man himself he has the kids letters in his hand and they just found it so magical because they were like how did you get our letters so the night before you actually come home you also get a festive feast again completely included in your basic package so you go to one of the nearby hotels and they do a festive feast so you get all your dinner and everything included even on the self-catering basis which is what we were you get all your dinner included there's puddings there's all sorts for the kids they do festive games um, music um stuff like that like we'll all wear christmas jumpers and like it's a big magical festive feast and then again, obviously, you get your then transfers back from your apartment or wherever you're staying to the to the airport in the morning and then obviously your flights home. So all of that is included for the £2,900. Now, you could just stay at that or you could book excursions through Ingham's or your travel agent yourself. However, we actually booked excursions when we got there and I will go into detail now on what we paid and where we booked. So we stayed in Levy itself and in Levy opposite the Levy Spa Hotel or um, next to the K5 Hotel there is um, a snowmobiling park called the Arctic Circle Snowmobiling Park I think it's called um, like I say it's directly opposite you can everywhere in Levy you can walk to it's brilliant um, so we went over to the snowmobiling park and we booked all our excursions with them so we did four excursions with them we did the husky rides i have posted little clips of these excursions as well so we went on a husky sleigh ride they picked us up from our hotel um took us there dropped us off they provide you with any equipment that you need as well that you don't have so we went and did a husky ride we also did the reindeer sleigh now this i really enjoyed it's a little bit slower than the husky ride they pull a lot faster but i just really enjoyed like the scenery and just being pulled around by the reindeers and look how cute they look so we did the reindeer ride as well 
and we then went on the snowmobiles now the snowmobiles were amazing you this was about an hour to an hour and a half of an excursion you go all around like a frozen lake um the guides are absolutely brilliant like all of the staff all of the ingham staff the um excursion team the guides um everyone at like the snowmobile park the staff while you're there are genuinely cannot fault like they just make it such a nice experience but yeah we went on the snowmobiling ride and yeah it was absolutely perfect we stopped off about halfway we got to take pictures and stuff like that and then when we got back to the snowmobiling park they had like mini snowmobiles that the kids could go around on and stuff like that Alyssa didn't want to go on because she was a little bit cold but Noah wanted to go on obviously like being a little lad just absolutely loved it now for all three of those excursions we did all three in the same day you don't have to but but that's how we did it and we paid 576 euros i want to say around that so it was around just under 580 euros and that was for two adults and two children for all of that and like i say all your transfers everything is included in that as well and then of course we did a northern light tour now we decided to do this in the van there is three different options so you can go out on the sleighs you can go out on the snowmobiles or you can go in the van because we've got a three and an eight year old we decided that the van would be a little bit better it's a little bit warmer like you can obviously go in out in the van you can also go further afield and when we was there it was very cloudy so it would benefit us to go further afield to be able to see the northern lights and of course we did see them which i was so happy and grateful for we paid it was 89 pound an adult and 59 pound a child but they didn't charge us for Alyssa for this one so she was actually free so i think we paid some around 200 and something euros for all four of us and it's a two-hour excursion but they picked us up at half past eight and i don't think we got back till 1am like they like i said the guides were just absolutely unreal and they were making sure we saw those northern lights like they were the drive you to wherever like i think we went on like a frozen lake near sweden like we literally drove to the best possible place where we could see the lights and like i said they stayed out with us they lit a fire we toasted sausages and um, they brought around like hot uh, berry juice which they drink over there and it was absolutely perfect so that was about 200 and something euros now in terms of food like when you're eating out in restaurants and stuff it is quite expensive now this trip overall it is not a cheap trip especially for a four night stay but personally if you can afford to do it a hundred percent do it like it is so 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 worth it so i'd say in all for all four of us including like our spending money eating out i'd say we probably spent around four to four and a half thousand pound for the entire trip like everything included our thermals absolutely everything which for me like obviously i completely recognize that is a lot of money but like i say i just thought it was so worth it and it was such a magical experience like it really was if like i say if you can afford to do it a hundred percent do it if you've got any more questions or if you wanting to see like any recommendations on food or if you want any reviews on anything like i say the ells village that we went on the second day that was included that was absolutely brilliant um but yeah if you want any more information or anything like that just drop me a comment but i hope this video explains all of sort of the costing so like i say it was two nine just for the um package deal and then we bought the extra excursions on top and then including our food and everything else that we bought we probably paid around four to four and a half